Hakan Sutton forcing a fumble, Joe Hayden getting the fumble recovery. And I go back to the importance. Any young DBs, any young coaches out there hoping to teach, you know, the game of football, the importance of flying to the football until the echo of the whistle. It was evident yet again here by Joe Hayden in his fumble recovery. And Ike, what did you see here on this play? Good on Joe and John little spot. So if we can just keep it paused right here, you got a bunch right. So you got what I mean by the bunch, right? You got three receivers close sitting at the bottom of the screen. You got a receiver who's on the ball and two receivers off the ball. Now it's not a cut split anymore. It's a tight formation. So if you look at the top, if you look at the top, you got one receiver. Now we have, we do have the running back sitting in the backfield by, by the uh, quarterback. So as a left side corner, man, I'm thinking bunch situation. It looks like this is about to be a, a two, a two man situation. So the two, the two safeties, they about to split the field and a half between, you know, Terrell. Terrell is talking to the corner, so obviously they got a game going on. So they're about to split the field between Minka and Terrell. Terrell going to have one left half. Minka have the other right half. But if you look at this situation on this third and six, we, we need to pay attention not only to Joe who catches the ball to make it one of the four turnovers from the Pittsburgh Steelers defenses, but we got to look at the the, the smartness and of Cam sitting in the middle of that nickel corner coming off his man. So if we can just play it. And Ike, as this begins to play, I want to point out the drag route concept by the Titans receiver, Racy McMath, who catches the ball and eventually fumbles. Mm-hmm. We're going to pause it here. So if you, if you, if you look at this situation, Cam actually comes off of his man to see the ball getting thrown and make this tackle to force a fumble when Joe Hayden is going to come up with this play. But if you look at the top, you see the corner with the game going on between Terrell and the corner, man. He's in a perfect position, even if he does make this play and Cam isn't right there. He's in a position to either knock this ball loose as well or to get a stop and make it make sure it goes into fourth down. But if you can run this play, please. So Cam comes off, forces the situation, and look at Mr. Johnny on the spot. Now, we just talked about the man making the fourth to six in a cruise situation, Joe Hayden. Now, we're about to see from a whole different angle, he getting into his Superman situation. Uh, I love this. The ball pops out in the full extension here, Ike. Oh, man, isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? I mean, you're talking about fighting for the ball. You talk about laying everything out on the line. And I talked about this because we used to they used to pick on me on not knowing, not having a good fall game. Like my teammates, like I your fall game is horrible, man. When you fall, you gotta tuck and roll. Well, for some reason, man, Joe Hayden does this instinctively. Every time he comes and he falls, he always tucks and rolls. Check this out. And this has to be something the Steelers teach now, Ike, because Correct. we saw Cam Sutton do this earlier in the season on <laughs> the, the tip LA. pass from Cam Hayward. Yes. Right. right, right. And I know you like to get your your Boy Scout on here with On My Honor and learning how to tuck and roll, Ike. Yeah, yeah Omar and I would do my best to do my duty to God and my country to the beta. I'm telling you, man, I got this. We have, we could just run this. That's perfect. But look at the roll, the tuck and roll. Like you say, man, they must practice that nowadays. An excited Joe Hayden coming off an injury, making two crucial plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm so glad Joe Hayden is back on the field for the black and gold. And again, Ike, if I can reiterate one thing, the situational awareness, knowing the down, distance, and situation of a football game, both key conversions in this game, and the Steelers come up clutch both times. So Joe Hayden... Back in uniform, back healthy for the Steelers. I don't think he's at 100% either, but making two absolutely crucial plays for the Steelers in their victory on Sunday.